that on me. Today is going to be slightly different of a video. Today we're going to be doing a baguette review on our parents and our friend Lou. <laughs> so how are we going to rate, rate Luke out of five baguettes? I'm not entirely too sure how good he is at Uno and he's very good at shuffling though. Yeah, that definitely gets me a baguette. Alright. And also guys, we'll probably do more than one video on him. And uh, yeah, so how long are you going to be with us? Uh, till tomorrow afternoon. So what have we got planned for Luke? What's the, uh, should we show him the market tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. We should do a second extra for Ron's market review, I guess. Because you guys did enjoy that video, I see. A lot of uh, our friends told us about it and how that we should do another one on it. So I guess we will. All right, well, maybe we'll incorporate Luke and get his reactions on some of the food and stuff. And also, guys, guess where we are at this place for the third time already. And how long have we been here? A week? week or two. So we've been here for all of our outing so far. Very good place. All right, well, let's check back in later when we've assessed Luke against our baguette criteria that we don't know what it is. See you then. You ready, Luke? I'm ready. Any you ready? Yeah. Game on. Alright, so it looks like uh, Uno's getting down. Alright guys, so far Luke's playing pretty good. I'm pretty sure I might be in the lead. I'm not sure what the other's cards are. Also, sorry about the background music and Luke just said for now. He's probably correct. Anyway, is it my turn? I don't know. Anyway, I guess we'll see you guys at the next bit. See ya. This is definitely going to be getting Luke another baguette. He just showed us this awesome baguettes? game. How many? So many baguettes. I'm going to end up with 10 baguettes. I don't even know if you can get 10 baguettes. I'll be the first to get 10 baguettes. Okay. I think the only thing that's got 10 baguettes was that choc chip Madeline the other day yeah. from Coco. Anyway, yeah. stop climbing on, let's show them the game. First, you have to put it on the edge of a table. Now this table is not too good because then there's a bump on the edge. I don't know if you can see that on camera. First, you have to hit the coin with the palm of your hands off the edge. Yeah. Then you have to hit it with your fingers. Twice. Then again. Right. Now, if it, this edge is not too good, but now you have to put it on the edge of the table again. Once you've done that, try and flick it off like this and then catch it in your hand. It's very hard this bit. And also guys, you only get to try and catch it if after your two finger flicks, if on the if it lands like this on the edge of the table, show them. If it lands like that on the edge of the table, except this one's bumped so we can't really do it. Oops, I just dropped the coin. Anyway, I'll show you what happens if you can actually manage to successfully do this. Flick it up and then catch it. If you can successfully do that, yep, you gotta spin it. You gotta spin it like this. This is just how I spin coins. And then catch it with your two thumbs. Got it! Oh. So I do a go, and you're gonna flick it through. Like this. Just flick it like that. Yeah, like that. Like this. Yeah. Wait, how you caught it? So how was it in your thumbs? Oh. Oh, that would be so angry if we were actually probably playing. Oh, yeah, you look at your thumbs and you go. Oh. That gets a point. Alright, so there you go. That is a wicked game, and it's and Luke one Table extra baguette. Good job, Luke. Anyway, we'll see you soon. See ya. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed those Uno clips. If they were a bit boring, I'm sorry. Anyway, we just went to go to the toilet, me and my brother. Then we realised something. Normally in France there are only one toilet. When there's in Australia, it restaurants with like three or four. That's not quite true, more like two. But anyway, there must have been a guy in there when we went, having some quality time in there if you catch my drift. So we just had to wait and we didn't even get to go. 
So, we'll see ya soon, I guess. Alright guys, we just got some food. Also, if you haven't, make sure to check out our other video that we've done here for Father's Day and also when we review the slushy here. It's a really good place and we love it here. Also, so far on the Luke's table manners. Very low score. Yeah, he doesn't even eat tomato. Just kidding guys, I hate tomato too and I spat on you now. So, I guess <laughs> I'm the big deal. Anyway, I guess we'll see you once we're done eating and we might even give it a review later. I just realized that this cup has half a litre of beer in it. Oh my god. Anyway, I guess we'll see you later. See you. Uh, so far, Luke's gone pretty good. Uno was fun with them last night. He just not have the best table manners though. He ate tomatoes and onions. Just kidding, I hate them both too. I'm sophisticated. We're just about to go down to the Saturday market. We're going to record a bit there too. And uh, record from Luke's point of view on how he thinks some of the stuff tastes. And also guys, make sure to check out that other Exxon for Bonds market where we got salted caramel, raspberry jam, honey and olive and honey. And olives and some other cool stuff. Make sure to check it out. Anyway, I guess we'll see you down at the market if there's something interesting on the way. See ya! Hey guys, Luke just found this awesome bubble machine. I'm not sure if the bubbles are gonna pick up on camera, but anyway, that's definitely getting him another half a baguette. Half a baguette? That's like 20 half baguettes. <laughs> Okay, we'll see you guys then at the next spot. See ya! Alright guys, we just got down to the market. We've been walking around for like five minutes. Jude got this awesome yogurt thing with a little bit of granola, which is the type of cereal. And uh, it had like some sour passion fruit stuff down the bottom. We forgot to record it. But those are mine and my dad's dream dogs. A German Shepherd and a Golden Retriever. They're both sleepy right now. I want to give it a pat. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to go over and pat them, but we can't really do that. See you. Alright guys, we just brought Luke down here at the merry-go-round, I'm pretty sure that's what they're called, I'm not too sure. Carousel. Carousel, whatever. Luke's going to come on with us, because we forced him to. <laughs> and we bought fun. the ticket. Yeah. And we found out what one we're going on, we're going to go on something that we can spin around, then we're going to make Luke feel sick. How strong is his stomach? That's Ideally fun. we're going to make him feel sick. Anyway, we'll see you soon. See ya. Alright guys, so we're currently on it. I'm in an aeroplane as you can tell. Henry, what are you in a horse? Yep. Luke's in a horse, Coco's on a horse, and yeah. Alright guys, we just arrived at the guy we got the salted caramel from last time with some of the jams and stuff. We're probably going to get some different stuff this time. Apart from the salted caramel, we're definitely getting that. And here are our taste samples. Thank you very much. Have a good day and a nice video. And then show them this too. Oh yeah, we also just got this and some cheese infused with truffle. Uh, and Luke's done the business. He's got himself some... Uh, Mike Peter's salsa. talked it up. And we're going to go home and we're just going to like dip our fingers in. Yep. <laughs> hey, but in the meantime, can I have my meat cone back, mate? Alright. We... Anyway, guys, I guess we'll see you at the next bit. See ya. I've been years to try on your meat cone. Can I have some? Yeah, get into my cone of meat. Mmm, juicy. That is a, uh, just for the... extra meaty. Yeah, just for the viewers at home, this is five euros, and you can buy these little meat sticks mm. separately at 50 euros a kilo. So that is some prime meat. All right, guys, we're visiting all the people we visited the last time, pretty much. This guy here is who we got the meat cones for last time, and Luke just got himself one. He's up there, I don't know if he, he knows. tried my meat cone. Yeah. And he's trying his right now. Don't know what he thinks of it. They're pretty much the exact same though, so apart from this one. I think it's more this... your premium meat, so like look at, the, yeah. look at the, uh, the textures and stuff on this. This is uh... good meat. And anyway, yeah. slurp, slurp. See you guys in the next one. See ya. 
Alright guys, me and Jude just saw this candy shop. Lolly shop, we're not American. True, we're Australian. Anyway, we're just now ordering. Um, could we please go up? Up? Have you seen them? Um, uh, up? Uh, 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 so, guys, yeah. we suck at Sweet and French. Sorry, right, We. Sorry, guys. Um, we'll see you when we finish getting all of this. Hopefully, we don't stop yeah. off. Uh I mean, we're amongst all these beautiful fresh fruit and vegetables, some of the best in the world. And what have you guys got? Some a uh, lot of lollies. A uh, bag of lollies. We're pretty sure that these things here are extremely sour. We're not too sure though, so should we try one? Yeah. We'll just okay. try one. Cokes, what have you got, sweetheart? Is that a sweetheart? <laughs> okay. Luke, he turned into a walrus. And Luke, what was wrong with you, mate? Did you have too much meat? Too much meat. Is that right. your meat? Grand all meat all gone. Oh dear. It's anyway, like guys, let's see. Oh, wait, Luke, you finished? Oh, I'm so sour. Sour? Really? Very sour. Oh, can I try a little bit of it? Is that sour? A little bit. Oh. Can I try? Oh. <laughs> the struggle. Over here. Any good? Oh, it's a little sour. Mm. Alright, well there you have it. Now let's try this. Alright. I'm still Oh, that's sour. We got three of those. <laughs> oh dear. Show them the bag. I'm sure they're not sour. So that was sort of fun, wasn't it? And you did well. You ordered in French or in French. Um, <laughs> anyway, we'll see you at the next bit. See uh -huh. ya. Got it. There's uh, some French parkour for you. It's hard to get to the white line. That's no, it's not. <laughs> that was cool, but semi amusing fact for the army parkour originated out of uh, France. That's the baguette army. The baguette army. You in the army? I'm, I'm a new cadet. Get in the army, mate. Anyway, see ya. Luke has to go in like 10 to 20 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Oh, about like two minutes. Oh, oh gosh. Thanks for missing me already. Also, guys, sorry, but my teeth are very dirty. I ate some of the lollies. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're extremely artificial, apparently. All right. Anyway, I guess... How many baguettes do I get? It's time to give Luke okay. his baguette rating. Coco, okay, you go first. No, you. Uh, a million? Infinity All right. baguettes. Luke get well we didn't end up getting to play tennis with him because <gasps> we forgot to. <laughs> so that may have been minus, maybe not. Anyway, I'm gonna have to like rate Luke not group. Luke <laughs> uh, five. Ten, ten. Five baguettes. Five, five, yeah. five baguettes. Five out of five. Luke's pretty happy with that. Is that and why mad? why is he getting five <laughs> baguettes? <laughs> I can't really. Luke is bossing. Yeah, He's Luke excited. Yeah, like three bits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jude, what are you going to rate Jude, Luke? Jude, give me another 20. Me? Okay, I'll I'm going to give you... Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give you five baguettes. Five baguettes! Luke's, <laughs> Luke's paid for his five baguette rating. All right, Koki, what are you going to rate baguette? Ah, <laughs> oh, no. uh, Luke. Uh, five Look at baguette. all his cold, hard cash, Cokes. <laughs> One hundred. A hundred! I just don't get my cash done! Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, can you wrap it? Anyway, I guess I was going to conclude today's video, so see ya! I'm pretty